There's always confusion for people when choosing the best engine, especially for beginners. I've seen the features of Unreal and Unity, and today I'm gonna be explaining which one you should choose. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a great game that. Nah, I'm just kidding. Here's a basic overview of the two engines, if you're new to them. Unity is a powerful engine used to create both 2D and 3D games. Unity is often used to create more stylized games rather than straight up photorealism like Unreal does. Stuff in Unreal looks so real. Unity has a relatively simple interface. There's great things about this engine. Unity is a cross-platform engine, making it great for games for multiple platforms, including mobile. Unity has a huge library of assets at the Unity Asset Store. You can find virtually anything there. As far as coding is concerned, Unity has an excellent visual scripting tool, Playmaker, making it easier for people who don't want to write code. Unreal Engine 5, on the other hand, has a lot more built-in features. Unreal Engine has everything that a beginner would want right out of the box. Also including some other things like what? Memory allocation, vertex color painting, subsurface scattering, and both node-based material graph editing and node-based code graph. Yeah, it goes on and on. This is also including Unreal's latest updates when features like Nanite and Lumen were introduced, allowing for better lighting and automatic LOD generation. Although, you won't necessarily be needing them if you're not making a AAA game. Yeah. Unreal also offers a visual scripting tool called Blueprint. There's an even better engine than both Unity and Unreal, which I'll show later. Now, you're gonna be spending most of your time on coding, so let's dive into that. As you probably already know, Unity and Unreal use C Sharp and C++ respectively. C Sharp is quite powerful and does not have a steep learning curve as Unreal, but both engines are viable and are great options for beginners. As mentioned earlier, both engines offer a visual scripting tool. Blueprint is a more full-fledged tool since it's been developed over the years. Developers also prefer Blueprint than Playmaker since perhaps it's just been around for longer. Unity now, however, has a main plugin called Bolt for visual scripting. Unity is the more commonly used engine if you, if you wanna become a game developer at a game studio, Unreal is your best bet for most situations. And that's for most AAA game studios. Since most of what develops code in is very similar to C++, it will be very easy to navigate between different engines if you start with Unreal, making you more likely to be hired. But now Unity has an upper hand here since it's more common. And there's more YouTube videos and tutorials. But both Unreal and Unity have their own documentation. Unreal seems to be more suitable for higher NPCs. Which one has better graphics? For photorealism, Unreal. But for more stylized games, both are viable. Unity seems to have better performance because Unreal on default settings requires a beefy PC and is too hard for my 2 gigs of RAM. <laughs> one thing that I'd like to point out, however, is that Unity seems to not be on your side since it's normal to frequently look for resources at the Unity Asset Store. Unreal seems to have it all ready to go. There's a secret engine which most GigaChat developers use to make the best games. This engine is an upcoming star, and it is... Godot. Nah, hear me out now. Godot is much better since it only takes 60 megabytes to download, and it's also a really light engine, and it's not over for potato PCs like mine. The engine even allows for my free cam screen recorder to run in the background. What the hell? What the fuck? I'm about to convince my grandpa to buy an exotic. For GigaChat developers, download Godot, wake up at 4 a.m., and drink piss to refresh. They don't know me, son! Which engine should you pick? Honestly, you shouldn't care. Neither do I. Don't overthink it because both are amazing. Just keep this in mind. If you're gonna get employed, do your research, but mostly Unreal is your go to. You should really be picking Godot, though. If you wanna know what one year of game dev looks like, click here.